Welcome friends, welcome back to the kitchen. Welcome back to another episode of what was on sale at the grocery store today. Now I live in Toronto and in Toronto, we are spoiled for choice um, when it comes to grocery shop. And I have to admit, I'm fairly lazy um, when I shop. I find myself going back to the same grocery store, um, the same place over and over and over again because I can get 99% of what I need in one stop, go in, get it, and I know that some things I'm paying too much for and some things I'm getting a deal on and it all works out in the end. And part of that is this, this I don't feel like you know driving around the city um, is often worth it to me. But I forget about some places that are in my neighborhood. So today I took a step out and I went to a grocery store that I really like called Blue Sky. And um, I was able to get these beef ribs at Blue Sky for less than half of what the beef ribs cost at the regular grocery store that I go to. So it's worth, sometimes it really is worth shopping around. And I'm not really going to do anything special with these beef ribs. Um, we did the pork ribs a little while ago. And I had a lot of people asking me in the comments, could you do the same thing with beef ribs? And definitely you could. Essentially the same method. I'm going to do it a little bit differently um, at the start, but for the most part, it's the same method. And today I'm going to use Montreal Steak Spice as the seasoning. Um, this is our own blend, and I will link to that down in the description box. And you just want to cover on all sides and then pick up anything that falls off, get it well coated. Okay, so I've got the ribs coated on all sides with the, uh, with the Montreal Steak Spice. Don't get hung up on the spicing I'm using. There's so many different ways to flavor this dish. Use a spice mix that you really like. I mean, you could go full on just with salt and pepper. And this long, slow cook is gonna make these taste amazing. Um, you could put in a little bit of smoked paprika or uh, ground up chipotle powder to give it sort of a smokiness to replicate kind of what a barbecue would do. Or you could just go straight out like I'm doing with, uh, with this Montreal steak spice. I'm gonna put a little bit of water in the bottom, but a quarter cup. You don't have to do this in a brazier. This is a, a Le Creuset brazier. It's really good for this sort of thing because it's got a tight fitting lid. You could do it on a sheet pan straight up sheet pan, cover it with tin foil and stick it in for the first half hour. You want to cover this for the first half hour of cooking. Um, you could do it in any roasting pan, just cover it with foil. So into the oven, this goes at 320 degrees Fahrenheit for about a half an hour to 40 minutes. And then I will remove the lid and just let it continue cooking. Um, this is a dish that doesn't take anything to make. I mean, really, um, it's easy. Just takes a bit of time in the oven. I've often thought that you could probably do this in a crock pot. Um, I've never done it. It's one of those things I want to try. If you've done it, let me know down in the, in the comments how that worked out for you. So into the oven, this goes. Okay, here we go. Take the lid off and look at that. Don't they look amazing? So. I'm gonna cook these now lid off until we get to about the three and a half hour mark and then I'll start checking them for done. Okay, about four hours have gone by and these are looking fantastic. Now I'm going to turn the oven up. It is gonna to go to 425 and I've got it on forced fan. So I'm gonna move these ribs over to this baking tray. Look at the fawn in the bottom of that pan. And I'm gonna cover the pan with some tin foil or aluminum foil. And I'm just gonna keep these warm. They'll stay warm on the counter for quite a while. I mean, you could cover them with a towel if you have a warming oven or a warming tray. That would work really well as well. I'm just gonna set them there for the moment. I'm left with this fond in the bottom of the pan and I don't want that to go to waste. So I've got just a little bit of water, maybe a quarter cup and I'm just gonna scrape around the side. I put this back on the stove top just to melt this together a little bit. 
Now this is a heavy cast iron pan and often there's enough residual heat in it that I don't have to put it back on the stove top, but you know, fussing with the camera and everything today, I'm gonna have to. So I wanna get kind of like a pan gravy, not quite. I've boiled some baking potatoes, just parboiled them, drained them and let them dry out. Um, they're right here. So what I'm gonna do is build a little bit of a sauce in the bottom of this pan, toss the potatoes in it, stick it back into the oven and roast them golden brown on the outside, building in all of the flavor from the beef into the potato. Okay, so I've got a lot of it scraped off. I haven't got it all scraped off. You're never gonna get it all. I'm gonna turn that heat off for the moment and I'm gonna take our potatoes and we'll toss them in this sauce and the fat and get them completely covered. Okay, that's really mixed up nicely. Nicely coated. I'm gonna sprinkle it with a little bit of salt. The oven should be hot now at, uh, at 425. It is, it's on full fan. You can go to 450, 475 if you wanted to. Um, I think 425 is gonna be fine. The ribs will hold their heat for quite a while. And in like the last five minutes, you can put the ribs back in and just sort of give them a boost of heat. So I'm gonna put them in the oven. I'm gonna keep an eye on them. Timing depends on your oven. Timing depends on your potatoes and the vessel that you're cooking them in. Watch them closely. Give them a stir two or three times. Move them around and get the whole thing nice and crispy. Okay, potatoes are done. There we go. Hey, guys. Ooh. Hey, friends. So, potatoes. I went to, Hot I went, potatoes, I'm sure, right out of the oven. I went to Blue Sky today. Okay. And what was on sale? Um, not on sale. Regular price beef ribs. Oh, yeah? But still way cheaper than, you know, the giant grocery store that starts with an L. Doesn't matter. No. There you so, go. So. Okay. Um, it reminds me of, oh, I can't remember the name of the restaurant, but it was called The Pile of Bones. It oh. Was like just this big pile of, of ribs. In, in Banff? Yeah. Was that Batif Split? No, that was the dessert place with the Mile High Apple Pie. Oh, that's right. Mm hmm. Bumpers. Bumpers. <laughs> it was Bumpers. Okay. Bumpers in Banff. I don't think it's there anymore. No, I don't think it's there. So I totally want to dive into the potatoes. Go, go into the potatoes. Okay? Go into the potatoes. So, All right. I don't um, know why. Because they've got that crispy mm -hmm. crispiness to them. How hard are they? Okay, I won't be eating mine. I'll set mine aside. <laughs> I'll set mine down. <laughs> they pulled in the flavor of the beef. Okay, that's great. But yeah. it looks like from your response, they're much they're too hot much to put too in my hot. mouth. Yeah. Okay, setting that aside. So that's how my grandmother did potatoes whenever we, she would do the Sunday roast. Fried right after? Yeah, so she would she would parboil them just like that. Mm-hmm. It's like a little mini roast. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's really good. I love that. And it was so much cheaper than the than a than a standing rib roast. Like when you go I always forget to go to the blue sky. And then when I'm standing in the blue sky, it's like why don't I come here all the time? And I don't know. That's really nice. But you could... Now I'm going to put my potato on. You could still pull the potatoes out of there, and there's enough fond Ooh. in the bottom of that pan that you could then make a gravy. Mm-hmm. Um, mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's a little hot, though. So, um, you could spice these any way you want. Just follow the method. It's really mm. about the method. Make sure you've got enough oil in the pan when you put the potatoes in and toss them around so they don't stick to the bottom. If you have to add some oil, add some. If you have to take some oil out, take some out. These are sort of decisions you have to make as you go along as you're cooking. Um, the ribs will stay hot, covered during the cooking time. It's easy, so easy. Thanks go. for stopping by, see you again soon. Okay, I've got, I've got some broccoli going inside, so. Excellent. In that case, stop snacking, let's go.